Okay, so once you have the results displayed, you can filter those results. That filtering is also called refining. You can filter or refine the results. The idea of a filter is I pour the results through that filter and a lot of them get filtered out. A lot of them don't come through to the other end. And here I have an image of, um, uh, yeah, I have, here I have a screenshot of a filter when you're looking at pictures and it's kind of an interesting filter. So for example, you can filter by color, uh, you can filter by size. So these are all things Google knows about the pictures. So think about that. For every picture, Google has made some analysis of what colors are in that picture so that you can refine your search by color. Um, in general, th this happens once the results are displayed. It allows you to further filter or constrain the results. And the idea is you're going to return fewer results that are uh, more appropriate to you. And it's you who's doing the filtering. Google does filtering, as I showed you before. Google further refines the results and, and gets rid of some results based on things that it's doing internally using its own algorithms. These are the kinds of filters that you apply yourselves. And not only does Google use these refinements, lots of other sites use these refinements, and it's really worthwhile to pay attention to them because it tells you a lot about how the, how the information is stored on Google and what they pay attention to. Like, for example, they pay attention to the color of, of images.